Good afternoon guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Lahore. And in today's video, we've got, as usual, we've got the British man walking away. Hello, hello. Harry Potter, Harry Jaggard. Harry Potter, the chosen one. And we have him here at our new hotel called Avari Express, where we are staying at. And so we're down here in the lobby right now. We just uh, checked in and actually already dropped the stuff off. Uh, but we were quite busy in terms of getting everything all set. So we're going to head on up there and give you guys the room tour now. And all the stuff's already laid out. So you didn't get to see it freshly clean, but as close as possible. So let's go on up. All right, guys. And we're up here on the 15th floor. As you can see, we've got some nice views of Karachi over there. And the nice part is we are very close to the elevator. So here we are already at 1508. We got Harry in there chilling, testing out the place. Hello. Oh. And as you can see, guys, it is a nice and spacious place. We've got right inside of here, coffee, water, and uh, you know a couple things like safe and bathroom over here. Very nice sized bathroom. You already got Harry drying up his uh, laundry, and it seems like it's quite modern overall. Plenty of uh, soaps and extra dental kits, things like that. And the nice part about this twin room is. It has queen size beds. Oh, yes. I love a comfortable bed. This is so comfortable. Let's check out the pillows, though, guys. Oh, yeah. Pillows are a little thin. They're definitely not as good as when we stayed at the Pearl uh, Continental. Those pillows were some of the best that I've um, slept on, but these are still good. Still good. And over here, we got Harry's little grind station right here, the Chillax King Spot. Remember, guys. Now, no days off. No days off ever, even on the chill days. And then right over here, we've got my little workstation, as well as a balcony out here. So balcony is a little dirty, not gonna lie, but there are a lot of birds in Pakistan, so it's not surprising. But it doesn't seem like very many people use this balcony, although it must connect, because that looks like a separate room, and that looks like a separate room, and maybe even that one too, down into the courtyard. Although based on the looks of it, guys, these like units right there look like they're empty so i don't know if that was just built or if they never got remodeled or what the deal was but the side that we're in is remodeled and it is pretty nice so this is where we're going to be staying for the next couple nights probably until we finish off our time in lahore right now we booked it for two nights we might end up staying like i don't know three or four and the total cost per night was 50 quid and so guys we're paying about 66 dollars per night to stay in this place so it's quite good in comparison to some of the other hotels we looked at uh, for places to stay in the Lahore area. And one of my favorite things to show you guys is how good the Wi-Fi is. So let's do the handy dandy speed test and give you guys the real view of it. And three, two, one, go. All right, all right, what do we got? What do we got going on? I am downloading a bunch of stuff right now, so that actually might skew the results. Probably will. All right, yeah, it's definitely skewing the results because we're at 11 megabytes per second. As you can see, I'm downloading a bunch of files here. So we're at 13 megabytes per second on the laptop download speed. Oh, up to 15. Do we have 16? We have 16.1. Now for upload, we're at 18, 17. All right, all right, 17. Do we have 18? Do we have 18? Nope. Oh, do we have 16 now? And here we go. 18, 18.32. So that's, that's already significantly better than where we were staying at. Pearl Continental, that was one of the things I was not a fan of, was how slow their internet speeds were. So I was starting to think, because multiple places, even coffee shops, I was not finding fast internet. But it does exist, guys, and we have found it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and head on out. We're going to go and find some delicious food in this area. It's a new area of Lahore that we have not yet explored. It seems more modern, more westernized, and so... We're kind of feeling that we might want to try a little Western food. So let's head on down. All right, here we go, guys. We're heading down to the lobby. We're heading back into the uh, streets of Lahore, Pakistan. So see you down there. All right, guys, we're heading out into the streets of Pakistan here. The nice part is right next to our hotel, we have a nice little mall here. So we can get pretty much anything we need. And we are catching even a couple minutes of sunset too. That, that looks like a pretty big win. So guys, we're right downtown, as you can tell. You know we're right downtown. We've got cars coming up right behind us, sneaking in. We've got motorbikes, we've got tuk-tuks. Just another day in the typical wild craziness of Pakistan. And right down here, we've got a bunch of modern restaurants. Salam alaikum. Hey, hey, hello, hello. Nice people around here. So just right down here though, guys, we've got a bunch of modern restaurants. So 
we figured you know what we might as well test some of them out see what they're like here and share with you guys what the more modern side of Lahore looks like so let's go ahead and uh, walk a few more steps and we'll figure out which places we're gonna make a quick stop at and it seems like no matter where I go we always come across Cafe Beirut Lebanon follows me forever you done for a cheapy coffee bro? Oh, yeah. Cafe Beirut all right, let's go here to all my Lebanese friends. I can never stay away from you. Salam alaikum. Ministry of Burgers is going to be good. Oh yeah, good work, gentlemen. Keep up the good work. In Beirut, we have to speak Arabic. Be sure. Keep our kaye. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Oh yeah, we're here. So we've got uh, we've got good rooftop views, gentlemen. Sure, sure. Yeah, perfect, perfect. We've got Cafe Beirut. We're going up one or two levels. I like the uh, architecture in here. Looks quite nice. And even when in Pakistan, I must always go back to my Lebanese roots. So here we go. We got a gentleman up here who's going to show us where we can take a seat. Oh yeah, we have arrived. Salam alaikum. All right, we've got a, uh, a very nice spot looking over the balcony and it's perfect temperature. I'd say it's about 15, 20 Celsius roughly right at sunset so a little coffee to get us going is going to take care of business run by a pakistani person but run, run by a lebanese person uh, run by a lebanese person ah perfect perfect lebanon is one of my favorite countries up there with pakistan uh, let you meet with lebanese department head head chef is also lebanese oh yeah master chef of lebanon oh perfect he's down here yeah yeah he's, 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 ah very nice very nice perfect shukriya Oh, so this is uh, more than just a cafe, I guess. Oh, they've got, wow, I feel like we're back in Jordan with all this mm -hmm. food. It's very Middle Eastern food, as you can imagine. Oh, yeah. And uh, Mr. Lebanon himself must be in his element. Uh-huh, we're back, baby. Chicken shawarma. Oh. Mm -mm, good. But the question is, do we want to eat here or just get a coffee? That is the question for Harry. I'd eat. Because he had, he had his eye on a steak before. Oh, yeah, true. I'd, I'd eat, to be fair. All right. Well, to be fair, I'm down. Yeah. All right, we got a lot of good options here. You guys, after flipping through here very quickly, it's funny because I'm pretty sure I already know exactly what I'm gonna get. I don't, I've never actually had this, called a cheese fatayer, but it's kind of tempting. But going back through here, we have what stuck out to me. I wanna say that I will most likely get the chicken shawarma sandwich, because I'm just craving one of those babies right now. But also, Oh, mini pizzas or popcorn chicken? Delicious, if you ask me. And a Nutella crepe. Oh, no. All right, I can't get too much. I'm going to end up with extra kilos here, guys. Go first. Okay, good sir. I will have your finest chicken shawarma, please. For me, good sir, I will have a uh, chicken shawarma sandwich. Chicken chicken. You can take this one, cheese dog shawarma. This is a special, amazing sandwich. Oh, marinated chicken. Hi, cheese. guys. Yeah. Oh. How are you? Yes. Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Keep up, Thayyeh. Yeah, Shuak Barak. Good. Oh, yeah, we're speaking a little Arabic again. Nice. Yeah, good to see you. What are you doing here? I'm making YouTube videos. Very good. Please have seat. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So you're from Lebanon? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you. I spent three months this year in Lebanon. Really? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I love Lebanon. Love you. Love you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming to say hello. And uh, I, I miss Lebanon so much we needed to get chicken shawarma. So we want them with extra tum. Yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. Merci Chaye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, thank you. Oh guys, it's always good to be speaking a little Lebanese Arabic again. If you don't know anything about Lebanese Arabic, it's a mixture of uh, French, English, and Arabic. So we're back here, so we're doing, yeah, like we said, the uh, we'll, we'll take the chef's recommendation here. And your good name? Mir Hafiz Razin. Mir Hafiz Razin? Did I get that right? Close enough? Perfect, that's a great name. We'll do a uh, shish talouk shawarma. That sounds just like a shish, you guys. And then one black coffee for me. Oh, coffee is strong. No problems. Okay, no problem. No problem. And we have the special MSD yeah. camera without me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll take one of those. Yeah. Two we of those? can take after the food. Yeah, we'll two of those. Let's two of those. Uh, delivered uh, before the meal, though. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Okay, that's complete. That's Shukriya. Shukriya, my friend. 
All right, guys, they just turned on the lights here. So now Cafe Beirut is looking quite nice here. We're all lit up. And the only thing we're missing is the sign up top. We get that one going and we've got uh, everything nicely lit. All right, and the food has arrived. Chicken shawarma. Oh, that's for the big man. With the garlic sauce. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, chicken cheese. That looks delicious. Thank, thank you, you so you much. Shukri Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dig in, bro. Dig in. First time having Lebanese food. Oh, yeah. You're going to be, oh, man. You're going to be blown away by this, bro. Guys, Absolutely blown away. Just a little disclaimer. I know we're in Pakistan eating Lebanese food, but we have had a lot of Pakistan food. I'd say every day we've eaten Pakistan food. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we don't like Pakistan food. It's more that we, we'd like to try something different for once. And uh, he saw this Beirut place and he thought, literally good. sprinted in there. Yeah. All right, guys, I am so excited for this because in Lebanon, probably the food that I eat the most, well, it's two things. For dinner, probably most often shawarma. And second up is minutia. You guys know me quite well if you're watching here from Lebanon. But um, anything that's shawarma just screams my name. So if you're not familiar with what's in a shawarma, basically you have chicken, you have pickles, you even have fries in there. Uh, this looks like it has lettuce in there and then it also has thum, which is basically like a garlic sauce. So if you're going on a day later, do not eat this. If you're not going on a day later, chow down like me. So let's go right in. Yes, we are back, baby. You know. It's literally like I just teleported from here in Pakistan to Lebanon. Oh, it's so, so good. The flavors, you guys have heard them in my other videos, but all of that, like the garlic mixing with the chicken, with the pickles, with the fries, on top of this nice crispy bun, it's literally cooked perfectly too. You have your nice lines there. Could not be happier. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes, mm. Thank you very much. Choke your up, my friend. Mm. Delicious. Thank you, sir. De -de delicious. Can I no. serve for you? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. That is, it doesn't get any better than that. Thank you. Up. This, I believe, is tum. Tum. What's tum? Oh, yeah. Just straight up garlic sauce. Oh, no way. So that's why I said you don't want to go on a ah, date. Yeah. Okay. So guys, most importantly right now, we have Harry's reaction because it's his first time having shawarma and Lebanese food. This, guys, I've been getting a, a fair few comments on my video saying come to Lebanon. So if I like this, I will come to Lebanon. And it, basically it's chicken shawarma with, you can see, I guess this is tung, chicken. Are there chips in there? I don't think I can see any chips. There's some veg, garlic. I'm gonna go for it. Dig in, bro. Enjoy. Oh, welcome to heaven. Okay. Wow. Unbelievable, wow. huh? Wow. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> yeah, now, now you know why I'm obsessed with yeah. that Lebanese food. So we've got the garlic sauce is probably the thing that makes it the most. Because it's like a mix of the, the chicken is obviously amazing, but you can get good chicken anywhere. But the garlic just makes it that, that little bit better. And then a few chips in there and not too spicy as well you know me i don't like my spice too much and guys it's incredible and then this like very thin bread uh which is toasted very nicely incredible guys the best of the best zabadast as we say in lebanon sahten bro there we go oh yeah it's just we got, it's spewing out of the sides there bro so we got some peppers we got some uh some pickles and boy I'm gonna finish this off in about 10 seconds. Oh yeah, enjoy that. Got a kingdom. Giant kingdom. Yep, yep. But uh, Lebanese at heart. Okay. Yeah. You came from business? Uh, yeah, business is YouTube. Welcome Pakistan, always. Shukriya, yaar. Thank you, kind sir. What's your good name? My name is Khoram Simon. Khoram Simon. Khoram. I'm born in Lahore. Uh, it's a great city, great city. people. Before I was working the way. Oh, Dubai's a great place too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three years I'm working there. Three years, yeah. That's quite a bit of time. You, you go there anyway? Yeah, been to Dubai. One I lived, month. Uh, which, which, which part? I lived in uh, Dubai Marina for six months. Marina? Yeah. Marina, uh, Marina Mall. Yeah. Marina Mall, yeah. yeah. yeah I lived yeah, there yeah. for one month. I work in Gedoria apartment, Dubai Internet City. Ah, Internet City, yeah, yeah, perfect. I was at the, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was 
it called? Rotana by Rotana. Yeah. Rotana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a lot of hotels, Tcom. They had yeah, Tcom yeah, called yeah. Rotana, Ramada. Yeah, lot yeah. of there. Yeah. Have a good day. Great Enjoy place. your meals. Thank you so Thank much. You. Delicious food. Thank Tell you. compliments to the chef and uh, compliments to your guys' service. Our Thank our head department handed exactly chef also both from Lebanon. Ah, well, the, it's a good purchase because it's a great country. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys. I am literally salivating. And Harry loves his uh, shawarma, so. For my Lebanese followers, do me the biggest favor. Go on Harry's videos, watch them, and just keep commenting that he should come to Lebanon. So we'll get him there in 2022 when I come and do season two Lebanon, where we explore so much more of this place for a month. All right, guys, we have moved over to the fries. Already literally finished off that entire shawarma. Oh my God, better than I even remember it. Mm. Little tomb there. The reason why I like these fries so much and normally I'm not a huge fries fan, like if I know it comes with fries a lot of the times, I won't even order them, just because I don't want to get too filled up. I mean, you guys see what I eat in some of these videos, so I try not to overeat, especially because there could be a dessert later on tonight. We don't know. But like these fries specifically, they have that seasoning, which totally stands out. Mm -mm -mm. It's almost like a, what does that taste remind me of? Like a Cajun almost? Paprika? Maybe. There's a specific thing that I remember. What is it? I can't remember. Very good though. We're trying out, this is the traditional tea, yeah? Yeah, Salamani tea. Lebanese. Oh. Inside Zafran, cardamom powder, blossom water, rose right. water. Let's give it a good old Lebanese. smell. Yeah, and also Zafran inside. Yeah, this yeah. is Ooh. Very nice. It is fragrance is uh, blossom. Okay. Oh. So Delicious. Shukriya wow. yars. Oh my god, that's like it smells of like flowers. Yeah, I know. I just want to slam it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told that <clears throat> Zafron is a very expensive. Alright guys, we're gonna try out this tea. I've actually never had it in Lebanon. I don't think. And at least it doesn't ring a bell. Oh that's so nice though. It almost reminds me of like Fruity Pebbles, you know the cereal. I don't know in which countries Fruity Pebbles available, but it's one in the U.S. that I had when I was growing up, and it's just like such a sweet, enjoyable flavor to sip on. I do like this type of tea better than like traditional Pakistan tea, Pakistani tea, because the Pakistani tea tastes very milky to me. It tastes a little too rich, whereas I like my tea like a little like lighter in color, like not transparent but like translucent, and this does a nice. Uh, a nice job to like warm you up because it's a little chilly as you can see I put the sweatshirt on so sitting out here with a nice lighting sipping a nice cup of tea it's quite relaxing I'll say all right what's your guess on this I bet it's uh, ten dollars per person Just the bill sure, uh, you want to pay your card or cash uh, I'll pay a card and then you pay me cash bro okay yeah a card sure. all right let's see what we got for this uh, I reckon it's uh, total $12 per Pretty close. It's like 17 per person. So we were close. We have the total 2530 which comes out to roughly 12 15 maybe about 16 US dollars, give or take a few. So good price for us to chow down on some delicious Lebanese food here in Pakistan. Make sure to leave your bro a good tip because he's taking good care of us. And that's where we're going to go ahead and finish our time here in the cafe we're gonna head downstairs say bye to our bros and uh, that's gonna be the end of it gentlemen shukriya thank you, sir. Thank you. delicious yeah. food thank you. until next time nice, nice to meet you nice to meet you all right and we are heading down give, say give a quick hello to the chef tell him it was delish and g double o d our boys over here Oh, that's some good chow. Delicious stuff. Shukriya, my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shukri Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you very much. We are doing light here flaming doing a light food flaming. Food. Great. Great. Oh, oh. Oh, we're even getting a little show yeah, here. Yeah, you can see. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Our guest all. What's happening here? See, we're doing light flaming with Lamadi and the special Lamadi. Oh. We got a party going on, guys. Oh, 
well. Oh, here we go. Let's get it, Harry. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Shukriya Yar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro, thank you. Uh, merci, uh, yeah. Until next time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Shukriya, shukriya. Shukriya, my friend. Until next time. Thank you, thank you. Shukriya, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Very kind people here, guys. Definitely a, a huge recommendation if you want to try out some Lebanese food here in Pakistan. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed coming with us for a little hotel tour, a little Lebanese food, and that is where it finishes off. So if you want to see more videos both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below. If you've enjoyed this one, smash that like button, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.